Yeah, it's one of my favorite places in the uh, the Bay Area. Oakland Space and Science Center back open for the first time in a couple of years. And now they got a brand new exhibit designed to add a little jet fuel to the imaginations of kids and their ambitions of a career in science. KPX 5's reporter Devin Feely explains all this. Getting them out to somewhere active, tactile, playing with stuff, that, that is the key. Because that just changes everything for them. Chris Wynn brought his three boys to the Chabot Space Center for a break after a long year of pandemic parenting, but also to get energized by the sciences. It is a big relief for them. We live nearby and uh, we're members and having this open again is like night and day. The Space Center staff is likewise happy to be open again, welcoming back children and the community for in-person, hands-on exhibits like the brand new NASA experience. We have a lot of different hands-on, um, highly facilitated, exciting activities that um, people can come and actually understand what it's like to work at NASA Ames. We're going back to the moon. Kids were able to hear from a real live astronaut and see artifacts from different space missions, many of them on display for the first time ever. It seems to be better than last time. In fact, there's more, interac more interactive exhibits compared to last time we were here. John Muir's two sons were enjoying the new exhibits. The Space Center says the larger goal is to turbocharge kids' imaginations and interest in the sciences, encouraging them to follow their dreams, even into space. It's, uh, it's good fun and uh, the kids love it so it's, it's a winner. Devin Vili, KPIX 5.